<laughs> All right, there's nowhere else to begin but uh, but right here, right? So this, this is, is it. it. So we've got Koreda. Oni Heisu. Uh, I think that's that's how I'm gonna say it today. Uh, this is Iron Factory uh, EX sixty three Iron Samurai series, and it is a legend scale, also known as mini masterpiece, converting robot. Uh, it turns into a vehicle and a robot and back again. And this one is uh, policia themed. It has. Uh, stickers that are really cool uh that you can uh for different languages but you know before we can do any of all that stuff we we got it we got it power up good to roll okay so now that we're good to roll all cards on the table i have already uh done a short for this one so i'm trying something new i'm going to do a couple of these i like legend scale transformers so what i would like to do uh in the next uh, few months or yeah we'll see a short where is kind of like my first impression of pulling the thing out That's what he and said. trying to transform it without looking at anybody's instructional videos or the instructions or anything like that. And just seeing how far I get with a little comment at the end. I already did it for this one. Check it out. It's on my shorts. Um, uh, look for Onihitsu or Prowl and uh, you'll find that there. So uh, I know that I don't need this for unboxing. Uh, this will be an official Unboring unboxing video. Uh, welcome to Unboring Unboxing. If you haven't seen Unboring Unboxing, I highly recommend the very first one I ever did for, um, what's it called, um, Mini Brands. So check out the Mini Brands one. That's where it all started. But hey, uh, I don't need this, and I don't need this, and I don't need any of this. But if you missed that short and you can't be bothered to go check it out, what I do is I take the old Westcott, and that's how I cut the tape right there. And then I use these, and <laughs> I bent this today. What a jerk. I always try to keep these as smooth as I can. I, I bent this today doing something else, uh, resetting up the table after from the short. But I, I, just, I slide this in here, and then, and then it pops here, and then you put it on in this side, and, and then you can pop this right here. And then that's how you can get these open without putting a crease in it. But uh, if you're me, um, then every once in a while you'll do something stupid and put a crease somewhere where you didn't mean to uh, with a different... Uh, uh, means okay so we got some uh, onlookers here on the side so uh, those guys are going to be there for comparisons at the end that's going to roll through this i'm going to try to do this and not have to edit too much because uh that's what the shorts for right so i don't want to spend too much time editing so i'm going to bump the camera a couple times but hey look at that shiny uh i don't know if that comes across there get the red shiny uh ink right there bing there it is blam the back of the package if you're familiar with legend scale you know what these is all about oh there, there's a qr code there i don't know if that'll work for you maybe Hopefully. Um, you can get these at a lot of places. Um, uh, I like uh, Show Z primarily is where I've been getting mine from. Um, so uh, I'll take this guy out. There, there's a thing. Doo -doo 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 -doo. These are all Iron Factory brand products. Um, this is Hometown. And this guy's got an awesome name. What does it say? It's like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher this, but it's a uh, Kochu Nurumi uh, Nurumuni. Sakura, right? Kochu Nuramuni Sakura, possibly. Um, he is also an Iron Samurai, and he's an Iron Samurai. The only two Iron Samurai that I have right now. Um, and then we have Resolute Defender. So Resolute Defender. We'll take a look at these guys a little bit later, but the Iron Factory, I dig Iron Factory. Um, Dust Hometown. Uh, it's like a uh, uh, Cybertronian type of form, I believe. And then this is a uh, Kochu, Noramuni Sakura. He is uh, inspired by Drift, I believe. But I don't know who Drift is, and I don't know who Braun is, and I don't know who Huffer is. I have no idea what those are. But I do know what a Onihetsu is. And Onihetsu, Onihetsu, Heizu is this guy. And this is what you came to see. So let's check him out. Da -da 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 -da. This is the guy. He's going on. Oh, man, we're almost at five minutes already. Let's, let's jam through this. So... He comes with some uh, gloves. We got a whole bunch of gloves here. We got um, fists. This is gonna hold a sword. So we got open hands, and then we got uh, weapon holding hands. And yep, so splay, hold. Wahoo! Just take a look at a couple here. There's a splay hand. Very, very nice. I use that one on a on an Instagram pose because he's prowling. He's creeping through, right? So he's got to be prowling. And then we've got uh, uh, sword holding hand, and right and left for all these. 
And this, okay, so this is the sword hand with the, with the open, with the open, and this is the gun hand. I guess it, that's right. But hands is hands, and then this is gonna hold swords. And I know there's people out there like toy games and stuff that can't be bothered with hands, so we don't spend too much time on the hands, right, games? Woo! Toy games! Okay. And then uh, here's some stickers you can put on. So you get the different languages, and you can do what, do what you want. Um, uh, it's your toy, right, Im right, Imgo? <laughs> um, go. Oh, I'm in uh, your face. Do I want to open this? Not really, but uh, there are instructions in here, and you can get a, you can get an idea of uh, what they're like. Um, I've got this guy figured out, and I figured out what I did wrong in the um, in the short. I did something wrong because I don't think these are supposed to be sticking out like that. It doesn't sit right. <laughs> Man, this part back here is tricky, but uh, we'll get it figured out. That's the short, and you get the general idea. Huh. Earlier today, I got this guy before I put him back in the packaging so I could pull him back out for y'all. Um, I, I messed with him a little bit more, and I figured it out. So, okay, so in the package, we got this blade. And um, unfortunately, I did not have the time today to do the research. Normally, I would and figure out what this is called. So let's call it a <laughs> blade. Okay. And huh, really nice plastic, nice hard, great paint. Um, no, no, no flexiness here. Here's his blaster, uh, and uh, you can get that handle out there. And this becomes the back of the car, which is pretty cool. Oh, I said pretty cool, so you have to drink. Anytime I say pretty cool, very cool, sort of cool, or anything like that, you got to drink. You know the drill. You don't know the drill. Now you know the drill. Haha. <laughs> okay. And he'll hold those just fine. Um, right, Bobby? Strong recommend um, from me. Okay, now, uh, let's do the transformation. Um, and then after all that, I'm going to do, I'll do some uh, photographs because I got to get photographed in car mode. And then um, uh, I will switch out some hands and I'll do some different poses and, and get some different pictures in here because um, I need to take a couple for the, for the gram and whatever. But uh, here we go. That's better lighting, right? I'm all like trying to hold it like out of the lighting, like a freaking noob. It's just this a whole new, it's not a new setup. It's just the setup is back. Um, it's, it's been a minute and, and this was just filled with, with, um, with, with random stuff. Okay. So to change this guy, first thing you want to know, parts will pop off. There's a lot of ball joints on here. You know, this has a tendency to pop off. These will pop off. Uh, let's see. Hands will, hands will come off real easily, but if you do it right, they don't come off. But the moment that, you, that you're that doing something, if it doesn't go on, you're doing it wrong. Right, deadlift? Okay, so uh, pop out the guns. <clears throat> I would say it's, you know, you can't even just, uh, um, you know, like, see, there it is. It, it come, they come off real easy. And it's designed to do that, right? So so you don't force nothing, so you don't break nothing. But um, when you're first lig for, uh, <laughs> When you're first learning the figure, it can be a little uh, frustrating. So uh, have patience. You know, don't don't get frustrated. Have fun. That's what I say. If, if any moment that I feel unless <laughs> I say oh, 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 uh, robot, um, then if you're starting to feel frustrated, just remind yourself what you're doing, and you're like, no man, this is this is fun. I, I'm 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 just doing it wrong. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so this guy is really cool. I like the way he transforms. Basically, what you want to do is. You want to uh, pop this back here, and then and then we're gonna lift this. And this head book is easy to come off. So, so the first thing you want to do, you gotta pull this forwards, right? So get the clearance on the shoulders, and then we can pull this forwards, and then we can pull this up over here and set that above his head, real easy, barely an inconvenience. Okay, um, there's a, a lot of ways you go. I'm sure, like I said, I haven't looked at the instructions to figure out the, the proper order of the steps, so I'm just kind of do this um, uh, happy accidentally <laughs> and hope, hope for some happy accidents. Um, pull that out of the way is what I found is, is pretty nice. I love the way these doors work. Again, they'll, they'll pop off on you if you don't do them, if you're not doing it right. Um, but you just get clearance. Clearance. You want to get Clarence. Clarence Bartiker, you are under arrest. You work for OCP. OCP runs the cops. 
You're a cop. Yes, I am a cop. <laughs> I guess it's appropriate doing some robo. Well, you know, just that that's what I found out just now. Um, don't think about what you're doing. Think about your favorite movie. And for me, that's RoboCop. And then uh, dreams will come true. <laughs> Go Robo! <laughs> okay, cool. So now we're forming what's uh, starting to form up there. And then uh, we can keep this flat back and we can uh, close the close the hood up here. Nice. Uh, and then um, and then you want to keep the shoulders and plug those in. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in. Right there. Plug this in. Plug it in, plug it in. Ugh. Okay, now. The arms, I think I also did wrong. I think I only turned it on 90. Turned it on. <laughs> I've been listening to way too much unk. <laughs> what up, YouTube fam? It's, it's your unk. No, no. Uh, okay, so I think I might want to turn it um, 180 instead of just 90, okay? So I'm going to try that this time, and I think that's going to be a better fit because the problem that I had, and I'm going to turn the hands up, Cause I have a, cause this one fit really well when I was doing it, when it was turned up and then this, okay. So here's what I realized I did wrong. Oops. See how that just kind of came off real easy. I mean, I barely just bumped it and I have really long fingers. So, so I have the opposite, uh, kind of problem, uh, or, or a unique problem. So Bobby's got a uh, skull face, you know, he got, he got the big, he got the big, uh, he got the big brawler hands, right? So, so he comes in there, bam, 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 and starts wrecking shop. But, but, and then I got, I got these long, these long ass fingers that come in here and just start breaking shit apart and just start exploding everything. Um, so, you know, pick your poison. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So just so you can see what's happening there. So it's a, it's, a, this is a nice quality. Look, here's the thing. If this is going to be kind of reviewish, I guess I really, I just wanted to transform this in front of you. I don't want to like go over, you know, a bunch of stuff and make it a standard review. I just want to talk and, and, uh, and play a little bit, but, um, great quality materials build the paint i mean everything is on point you go go watch other reviews for that for that right for this particular figure because I, I just i just enjoy playing with it and i just wanted to show you guys my new toy <laughs> um that's by the way that's where i got my laugh that's a standard haha <laughs> that laugh i do it's from um i've been doing that laugh since uh since uh robocop uh when he goes <laughs> well boys the other one was, you know, was sweet or whatever. He's like, I took her out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, that's, that's where I got that from. So, so that's why I didn't do right. I figured out, you know, I was messing with that. I mean, what if I just rotate these uh, a one and one eighty, and I did, and it worked. And at first, when I saw these parts, I thought they was um, chairs. I was like, oh, dude, that's tight. I mean, you could kind of pretend in your in your mind when you're playing with it that they are the chairs, but but they're not the chairs. Uh, uh, kinda. No, 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 they're not the chairs. Okay. Damn, I say kinda. You got a drink. If I say kinda, kinda, sorta, sorta, kinda, you got a drink. Um, I'm doing a bad job of keeping this in the light. Um, okay, and then these go like that, see? And that comes like that. It's real easy. And I was making it a lot more harder on myself than it needed to be. And um, I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm not paying attention um, because I'm so excited that I figured out to, to, to rotate the legs. Um, so, and I haven't, I actually haven't completed the transformation. I just kind of got it halfway there and realized, okay, that's how, that's how you do it. That's how I was doing it wrong. Um, and then you want to rotate this little buddy here and get this out of the way. And then this, these are nice. The way that they sit, I mean, everything sits really nice on this. Everything plugs in nice. Everything stays in nice. It's, it's a satisfying toy. Uh, I like it. Um, if you haven't had any experience with the Legends, you know, or, or maybe a particular uh, Samurai Iron Factory, I would not recommend this one as your first get. For first get, I would say, you know, at least for, with my, all I can, I just only speak for what I've had in hand, right? Of these, um, I say get Hometown um, as your first. Start with Hometown, and, and if you enjoy your experience with Hometown, then just, then just blow up from there. Um, I would not start with a Samurai as, as your first experience, is my recommendation, when it comes to Iron Factory. Um, and that's just because there are a lot more moving parts, a lot more ball joints, and if you and and a lot more stuff to just uh, you know 
pop off. And again, don't let it frustrate you. Have fun. It's, sometimes it's a blessing when it comes off. It's like, oh, cool. Especially when you got big hands, right? As an adult collector, you know, you're not, and these are small. So the fact that stuff comes off, it's nice because it lets you just get to things, you know, and you can just pop it back on. It's easier to transform this guy without that stuff in the way. And so just do it. You know, I don't, I don't feel like it's like, <clears throat> um, you know, oh, I'm not good at transforming transformers because I have to, I have to pop everything apart. It's whatever, man, you know, and I'm not saying anybody said that. That's myself talking to myself, right? Because kind of like Tidarium, I get his, I get his, I get, I get, I get hi, Tidarium. I get your frustration, you know, when you're, when, when uh, you uh, using a, um, a spudger, right? I, I was kind of like that too. I was like, man, I wanted to try to do everything without a spudger. And then, and then, and then I couldn't find spudgers. I'm like, where do you get these things? Is it called a spudger? You know? And, um, and yes, it is. It's called a spudger. And, um, and, and it's just, and then it's just a tool that you can use. And uh, that's what separates, uh, us, uh, from the apes, right? Is, um, uh, from the, from the, from the animals is, uh, our ability to <clears throat> use, use tools. Um, now this part still is going to get me, damn, see, because logically my brain says this, this has a clearance here to go like that, right? So, I mean, I would need to turn this, turn this foot 180 so that this can rotate and get to the 180 but then and that's the case so yeah okay so it is right okay so so my so my brain is right uh I, my brain is, is is okay um brain so we do turn this 180 the foot on the heel okay that's what i'm subtly doing here 180 see i knew i had that part right and i knew i had this part right and it pushes out like that and then this pushes up, and then this becomes the back of the car, and then it'll go like that. And that is how, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to complete this transaction. I do believe, I do believe that's gonna, that's gonna complete that. So let me get this back on here. Pet towel. Little buddy, getting back on where you belong. Little buddy, getting back on where you belong. Getting this out here and pulling these fists up here. And looking at my camera every once in a while to make sure that I'm not putting you in my what? That's right, I was going to say rear view mirror. Good job, good job. Slide to the front. Come here. Here, little guy. Where did you go? Oh, no, it's all going to come down now. Oh, boy. Red alert. Red alert. Don't you hate that? Like, there's nothing down here. And this is how it happens. You, you, you. My floor is, is, is pretty open. And I dropped a piece about this big. And physics, it hit the ground and went. Phew, and it's gone. What I'm talking about is the hood piece that goes right here. So give me one more moment and I will pause and come back once I can find this damn thing. And I'm back and it's a miracle. I thought this flap is what popped off. It was a hand that popped off and I can't believe I found it. Um, it took a minute, uh, but I came through. Whew. Oh boy, oh boy, oy vey. Is that when you say oy vey? Is that an oy vey? Okay, this one is f popping off a lot because I haven't loosened this this joint enough. It's it's very tight. I mean, it's not tight. It's just it pretty much goes into first gear, or, or drive, and park right, uh, which is nice. So um, you can't really figure that out unless you take this off. So sometimes that's why I say it's good. go ahead and let it pop off, and you can figure this stuff out. So let's put it in drive because we're going to be driving, and now. for something completely different. It's watermelon time. It's gonna be watermelon time here at the Driftwood Lodge in a minute. Uh, 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 bing, bang, dip, da, 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 da. Huh. Get back. You gotta get back. You gotta get back, gotta get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, I don't know if I'm feeling the, uh, the, 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 the 180 on those. I think I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the 90. Let's try that 90. Yeah, the 90. That's, that's what my issue is. Let's keep it at, let's keep it at the 90. Um, so we're not going to cheat here and do it without the fist because that's, that's a little too cheatery. Right. Um, boom, boom. Speaking of, I wonder. I always wondered. I thought it would be kind of cool to host like a. Uh, they probably do them. I don't know. I, I've I've never seen it or heard anybody mention it. It's just an idea I've always kind of had. But you know, kind of like a transforming um, competition contest. You know, all in good fun. Where you know you get some people who want to compete, think that they can transform some transformers. And you, and you throw random transformers at them, different classes and stuff. So maybe give them, give them a couple that they can practice with. And then there'll be the random one, you know, the, the blind transformation. You don't know what bot it's going to be. You got to, uh, uh, And then you get to transform it and see who can do them the fastest, you know, done. Smoothest, cleanest lines and all that. That'd be kind of neat. I think that'd be fun. Uh, there's a couple of bots that I would probably enter uh, in that competition with. You know. Okay, I'm almost got this. I've almost got this. What I do? What I got wrong? Man, the, the 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 short was a lot better than this one. I tell you what. Man, I listen to the door panel. I still don't think I got these right. See, now I got now I got junk hanging out the back. Damn. What am I doing wrong? Oh, see? There it is. No, yeah. That's it. Okay, I had it. I got it. No. Do I? Oh, my God. I love, I love playing with toys. What am I doing wrong here? See? There it is. That's it. I just didn't... I missed a step. I missed a step. It's all good. It's all good. I stuck with it, and I got it. It's all good. Stick with it. Right? Stick with it. I think I didn't look at that one 180. That's, that's that problem. Oh my god, I dropped it. This is not going to do anything uh, to promote people wanting to buy this thing, huh? You're going to be like, yeah, no, I'll pass. Like, no, seriously, it's a lot of fun. I'm just making it look bad because, <gasps> because I'm unpracticed. I'm coming into this cold today. I didn't change him a couple times before I before I jumped into this. Okay, so you don't flip the foot. So the foot wanna stay like this. Like that. And that goes there. Oh my god, I lost another hand. Yeah, I'm not doing this company any just I better not publish this video. Iron Factor be like, hey man, um, could you like not uh, uh transform any of our, any more of our products on camera? Um <laughs> Check this out. So uh, I spent a minute with it off camera, and, and that's, that's, that's really what you got to do, right? That's where the magic happens. I got it all, dude. I figured it out. Okay, so <laughs> I had him down looking for that last glove. Okay, so yeah, so I got these right. I got the legs right. I want to show you. So this way it should look like. And, but here's why I'm excited. Here's why I'm excited. So I messed with all different um, angles. Uh, rotations for the arms and if you have it like this so that the ball joint is facing out then look how much look how well they fit in there it's like a glove so i'm going to test um pop pop pulling these out putting little nubbins back on here little hand nubbins they feel like little erasers just so you know these don't feel like hard plastic they actually feel like like those those hard erasers that you that you would get when you were a kid maybe and they were they sucked at erasing anything all they did was smear you know everything um but they like looked like a strawberry and smelled like a strawberry maybe you ever have those you ever seen those um that's what these remind me of like how they feel okay so let's try do it with the fists like that okay so not totally let's try rotate the fists out there it is yeah so if you get the fist like that and it, boom <clears throat> so that looks like that works 
That is excellent. Okay, and there it is. Boom. We got him. Yeah. And now he can sit and roll. You hear that? You hear that squeal? Wee, wee. Probably not because it's in Bluetooth. Oh, yeah, I'm losing my Bluetooth headset. Um, I got my earbuds in. So um, I don't know. What am I looking for? Oh, the blaster. Okay, so you don't want this back here because then this can't come down, right? So I'm going to put this here, but we probably don't want it sticking all the way straight down because then it might conflict with its ground clearance, right? So I'm going to push that forwards because it can. And uh, and then that's going to slide in here. And then these tabs here are going to tab in on the inside of there. So. Just like that. Man, this goes in way better. When you have it transformed properly, it goes in just perfectly. You should have said, yeah. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. You can tell my voice I'm excited. See, I love this toy. Don't not buy this toy because of my incompetence. Buy this toy because it's so cool. That's very, what, what, what up? Oh man, I should have brought out a Hot Wheel for, comp it's comparison time. Hey, speaking of comparison time, and let's do some comparison times. Here he is next to his buddy. Here, no, here he is next to a Joy Toy mechanic. Hi. Think you could uh, mass shift a little bit for me so I could uh, fit in there a little bit better? Nah, bro. All right. No, no mass shifting for the uh, home slice there. And we got, yeah, what up, y'all? It's your boy. I'm rolling up in this bit. I'm just hanging out with my boy, man. You know, we about to hang out. We about to go out. We about to do some. We about to do some things. I'm about to get my rotate my legs the other way, so you know how I can sit and be riding on cars. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, Rumble takes it. Rumble is red, y'all. And you know this is true. And if you disagree with me, then go watch my uh, pl uh, plug my video um, uh, with with guest host Modified Voice Chip Soundwave uh, doing his. Uh, Rumble is red, frenzy is blue. Debate video. Go check it out. I had a lot of fun making that. Um, it's a, it's a crime how many views it has. It has like two views, and it's a crime because it was a passion project. And that's how passion projects are. You do a passion project, you do one for yourself, and you take you spend way too much time on it and put too much love and energy in it, and you love it the whole time. And you're like, this is this is, came out, man. I had a vision in my head, and I, and I saw it through. And then and then you show it to some people, and they're like, oh yeah, that's cool. Hey, um, where's that where's that other one? Oh, what, the one that everybody else... Yeah, the one that everybody else has. I want to see the one that everybody else also has. Oh, okay. You don't want to see the one that's unique and original. You want to see the one that everybody else has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let, okay. So, um, and then we got Fighter. <laughs> Yo, what up, man? Yo, what up? What up? I can't wait. Yeah, see, you got some new uh, machine robos. I did, I did, I did. got some new machine robos, man. Hey, so so check it out. Um, there's a rod drill and a side kill. That's right, Rodrill and Psykill, and, and yeah, we coming out and we and we doing things. And we doing things, and, and, and we actually have one of them, and I'll be doing a video of one of them soon. <laughs> Fight tour in a house. Okay, this is going to be controversy. It's controversy time. Oh, look who stepped up on stage. Mr. Controversy Super 7 himself. This is a controversy. Hi, my name is Controversy. I am a controversy. However, I am very cool, and if you know who I am, yes, his, his name's, I can't say his name because I, they might come after me. Um, then you know that the fact that I'm holding this figure is really freaking cool. Um, but you also know that it's made by um, a very controversial company. So um, the fact that I probably have this is a controversy. So let's get Mr. Controversy. Oh, oh, trip on your way out, Mr. Controversy. Okay. So. Uh, and then for something that some of y'all might be, a, uh, why are they all red? Because I just kind of wanted to theme them red because I, there was, that was the, that's the, that's the tertiary pop color on this guy. It's the pop of color. It's red. And so I wanted to bring the red out and Mr. Clawful, Masters of the Universe, um, Masterverse. Come on, man. Jeez. Masters of the Universe, bro. And that's how big he is next to this guy, brah. But, uh, yeah, so I think we did it. And so I need to get some shots of this guy and, uh, and then get some, uh, am I going to put a sticker on him? I mean, I kind of think you got to put a sticker on him, right? Sticker on him. Should I put Policia on this side and then, and then Wada Wadio Policia on this side? 
um, nani, nani, nani tendayo to, to Nani and Tendayo on the side, uh, over here. We did comparisons. We're going to do the thing. We're going to get, we're going to get a power. We're going to cut this. We're going to do it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll hope to show you some pictures and stuff. And uh, I touched it. Oh, you know what? Since uh, since since why not? <laughs> Cause I'm approaching um, 500 uh, subscribers on my YouTube. I thought I would do a, a 500 giveaway, and uh, so what I'm thinking is uh, it's not one of these, but I have one. Uh, uh, if you would like uh, your chance to win, <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, right? But what? If? <laughs> hey, you already got toys. What the hell am I gonna give one of mine for? <laughs> If you want a chance to win a happy accident uh, bracelet that's been worn in my videos and perhaps some gloves that's been worn, you just be uh, somebody subscribed around that 500 mark. I'll come up with details later and um, and we'll figure the rest out. But hey, you can you can you can win you can win something from me. And you know what? And I'll and I'll, and I'll probably uh, sign it and throw in a drawing and stuff too because uh, I do some art. So so I'll, I'll throw in a sketch for you because I still owe White Mike a sketch or two. Is it two, Mike? Is it two? <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna have? <laughs>